Thank you so much. And over at the medical examiner's office over the past few months, that department has seen its chief medical examiner and chef, chief deputy arrested. Yeah, the Texas Rangers and district attorney's office launched an investigation into that office and its practices. Tonight, our Michael Gibson sits down with the new chief medical examiner being paid half a million dollars a year to try to turn things around. Dr. Timothy Fagan has been on the job as the chief medical examiner for Nueces County for three weeks now. And he says after he's looked over everything, he's really getting down to work and he's ready to turn this department completely around. This is Dr. Timothy Fagan, the new chief medical examiner for Nueces County. He's been practicing medicine for 17 years and was recently working at the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office. He also served as a flight surgeon for the Air Force in Iraq and Afghanistan. One of his missions here is to try and keep the medical examiner's office out of the news. Uh, obviously, there, uh, there have been some doubt for the quality of work that this, this office has put out. And so that is one of my top priorities is, is to ensure that uh, from the day I started that uh, we are putting out quality work products. One of the questions we asked Dr. Fagan is why he took the job with an embattled medical examiner's office. He says one reason was his ties to Corpus Christi. His father graduated from Ray High School and went on to Del Mar College before joining the Marines in World War II. Now the $500,000 salary was also a big consideration, but it was really the job he was after. To become chief medical examiner for, um, for any office is an incredible opportunity. County Judge Barbara Canales and the rest of the commissioners are looking forward to helping Dr. Fagan succeed here. They've already approved using $7 million to build a new autopsy medical facility. I do think the court has made a good choice based upon the resume, the interviews, and his vision. And I think that what you're looking for is a serious individual who has serious you know, credentials, and we've got that. We are thrilled to have Dr. Fagan. I think he is an extremely talented man. This is his first opportunity to be an ME. I think he's ready to make his mark. Dr. Fagan reminds everyone that they are rebuilding the department, but he feels he has a great staff right now who's helping to make his job a little bit easier as he's working to ensure that his office stays out of the news headlines from now on. Michael Gibson, 3 News.